Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I'm going to do something uh, a little different. And I've had requests from, from a number of you that uh, would like to know some of the applications that I use and some of my favorite apps. So what I thought I would do is a favorite app series uh, where I just showed you some of the applications and things that I really enjoy and use on a daily basis. Now I'm still going to continue the uh, server series uh, for those of you that are uh, following along with that. Uh, so don't worry, we'll still be doing those. But I'm adding these in, these in here as well so that you can get a feel for some of the applications that I use. Because some of you have been with me for a while. You've been watching. You've uh, already mastered server, hopefully, through a lot of the things that I've been showing you. And you'd like to see some other things from me on uh, some other uh, applications and products. So uh, what I'm going to do is this week I'm going to start with uh, some Mac, a Mac application. And I'm going to start with task management and show you my favorite task management application. And that's Things by Cultured Code. Now I've tried a number of different task manager applications. I've tried OmniFocus, I've tried To Do, uh, I've tried a bunch of different ones, and none of them really stuck with me all the way the same way that Things does. Things just kind of fits the way I think, fits the way that I operate, and the way that I think about tasks. And so what I want to do is uh, kind of give you a tour of this application to show you how it works. Now one of the cool things is that they do have applications for the Mac, for the iPhone, for the watch, and for the iPad. Uh, you can see I have all these family of applications. They are working on a version 3, um, which they've been working on for a little while. So if they do come out with that update, I will definitely do a screencast to show you the differences in the update. But for now, I just wanted to show you how I use this so you get a feel for the workflow. So let me just go ahead and pull things up here. And so this is what things looks like when you launch it. And one of the things I like about this application is just the clean interface. Uh, very simple um, workflow down the side here, and then your tasks uh, sit in the middle. And so you can see we've got an area to collect, which is your inbox, where you'd put all of your tasks before you file them. We've got a today area to focus on, if we want to look at what's due today. A next area that shows all of the tasks that are happening and coming up next. Uh, scheduled tasks, so if you've got tasks that occur weekly or at specific times, those will show up here. Someday tasks, and those are for tasks that you uh, intend to get to someday, but they're just not urgent right now. And then you've got your projects, and this is a series of uh, tasks that need to be done to complete a particular uh, project. And then we've got a logbook and trash down the side here as well. So what I want to do is show you how we can get started by adding tasks. Now I can add a task just down here by uh, clicking on New. And when I do that, you see I get this little task window right inside the inbox, and then I can type a new to-do. So let's say I'm going to say, you know, take out uh, trash or something like that. And let's just make an easy task there. I can also add tags and things. And the great thing about tags is that I can use tags to filter my uh, different project lists or different tasks to focus on certain things. Now a good way to use uh, tags would be to use things like uh, energy required, let's say, to get something done. So maybe there's something that takes full attention. There's something that you can do while you're waiting, you know, kind of like doesn't take full attention, but maybe while you're waiting around. Uh, you can also do it by things that are high priority versus low priority, or you can also use it for context. So things like, you know, if I am uh, working at the computer or if it's something that I'm doing um, as an errand or on the phone, I can use those as tags. So in this case, this would be an errand. And you can see errand comes up, and so I can tag that as errand. Now in here, I can put notes about what to do uh, with the trash, you know, or whatever I need to do. Uh, this is where you would put things like project notes, or you might put things like uh, email and that sort of thing in here. And then I can set a due date if I want to do that. Now let me just click this to open it. I can actually set a due date in here, get this nice pop-up calendar that will show me when it's due. And let's just say it's due today. And so I'm going to say today. And so there's my new task that just got added. And if I wanted to, I can just actually make it a today task. And as soon as I do that, notice that it's left my inbox here. And you can see the one has moved down the list here. So let me just click on that. Now it's a today task. Now when something's uh, due today, the actual checkbox will turn yellow. Uh, when it's past due, let me just open this up. When it's past due, it'll turn red. So that's one way that it'll, it lets me know uh, whether or not a task is coming due or not. Now I can always take it out of today by saying not today. Uh, I can also schedule it from here. If I want to schedule it for a later date, I can do that. And it's going to access my calendar. And so it just brings down the calendar application here and I can change the day that I want it to be. Uh, and I can also put when I want to review it and how many days. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that and leave that alone. 
Uh, so there's my there's my trash errand. And if I just come down to next, you'll see I've got that in next because that's the next thing I need to get done. If I come down to scheduled, notice I don't have it scheduled in here because it's not a repeating event that I set up. It's just a one-off event that I'm doing today. And again, I don't have anything in someday or in projects. So that's how you would get a task into things uh, that way. Now, there are other ways to get things into task, uh, tasks into things. Let me just come up here, and I'm going to go to um, the Things Preferences. Let me pull up a Preference window here. And what you can see here is if I just go to Quick Entry, I can create uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, to do Quick Entry. And so this is what is the default. But if I wanted to, I just type in a shortcut. So I'm going to do something like uh, Shift-Option-Command-T. And I'm going to do that for the shortcut quick entry. Now you can also do uh, enable a um, autofill, which will take any text or anything you have selected, uh, maybe for mail or something like that, and automatically fill it into the notes area of a particular task that you're looking at. So I can come up with a shortcut for that too. So I'll go Shift Command uh, Option, and what I'll do is I'll say uh, A, let's say. So it's autofill. And that way I've got those two things set up and ready to go. And I can also say where I want to save it, either in the inbox or in today. I'm just going to put it in the inbox so I can file it later. So let me just pop this down. So let's go ahead and use our keyboard uh, command. I'm going to go like this. And you can see I get this nice pop-up window that shows up. And you can see this moves around. This window will show up anywhere. So I don't have to have things in the front for that to happen. It will just automatically come up. And I can then put a new to-do in here. And so I'm going to say, let's say, mow yard. And let's do that. I'm going to put in a tag. Let's call it errand again. Um, I can put in notes if I want to. I can put a due date. Let's say um, due today. And I'm going to say save. And so now I've got Mo Yard in there. And that's ready to go and take a look at. And then I can file it wherever I want to file it. So that's how you can get some of these tasks in there. Now, another way to be able to manage these things is to set up what's called projects. And so let me just show you what projects look like. If I just click on the new project area here, you can see I get this item here. If I just double click on it, where I have a project and I can set that up. So let's say I say something like write book and make that on there. And let's just say this one I've got, um, uh, let's say energy. I need, I need energy on this one because this, this is a tough one. So that's kind of a focus area. And I'm going to say computer. And notice I don't have computer in my tags list, but if I just type it and hit return, now I do have computer as an actual tag. This is something I'm going to sit down in front of my computer and do. Now I can set a due date for my project, and let's say my project is due Friday. I'm just going to make that up, so I'm going to write a whole book by Friday. And I can put notes in here about the project. You know, I can say, you know, write book on stuff, something like that. So that gives me some, some information on that. Now what I can do is start to add tasks inside of here. So if I just say new, I would say uh, get ideas, let's say, and that's going to be, um, you know, computer. I can put notes in there. I can put a due date. Let's say I want that on this date. And so now I've got a, an actual task in, as a part of a project here. And so when I come up to inbox, it's, notice it's not there. It's not in today. But when I come to next, you see that I've got the project now listed here with the tasks that are related to that project right underneath it. And you'll notice, too, that as I've added tags, I've got tags across the top. So that allows me to use things like I can filter by errand or energy or computer, or I can say all. And so you can see how those, how those come up and lay out. So this project, if I click on the project, then I'm right into the project and starting to work on that. So that gives you an idea of how you can get your tasks into things. Let me show you how to do a scheduled task. So I'm going to come up here to mow, mow the yard. And so I'm going to double click on that. And you can see how this works. I've got all this information on here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, if you look at the corner here, I can make this a repeating event. So I'm going to say Make Repeating. And it gives me this drop down that says copies uh, are created weekly. Uh, let's say the first uh, Monday. Uh, the next one's going to be on 1219, Never Ends. And go from there. And you can see how it's got repeating right here. And I'm going to say OK. And so now notice how that says I've got today to mow the yard and I've got every week. And you can see it dropped me right down to scheduled now because this becomes a scheduled event. If I come up, you can see the one I have due today. And you can see that's a due date for today. And right away I can, I can say move it to later if I don't want to do it today. And that's how I can work with tasks today. Or I can star it and I'm saying I'm going to do it today. And so it just puts it into my regular today list. 
And I'm going to show you as I put a, a few more things in here how that works with reviewing your projects on a regular basis and just show you the workflow. But I just wanted to show you how that works, that that's how the scheduled information works and how that lays out in here. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you. I want to show you um, how you use areas of responsibility. And then I'm just going to load in uh, my existing task list so you get an idea of how this is laid out. Now areas of responsibility are set up uh, down here. If I just click this plus here, you can see I can set up a new project or a new area of responsibility. Now an area of responsibility are the aspects of your life that might include a number of tasks. So this is where you would group things by uh, stuff like work, uh, maybe home. Uh, you might group it by uh, certain roles that you play in life. And so it gives you another look at your various tasks and projects based on those areas of life. And it's just a great way to organize your tasks and gives you another look at them. Let me give you an idea. So if I just say new area of responsibility, notice we get this drop down here. And what I might put here is I might put home. And let's say that's one thing. I've got this area of responsibility that I've got to do at home. I might put another one, another area of responsibility that says work. And you can just kind of lay out whatever roles that you have there uh, that you want to set up for uh, those areas of responsibility. Now, once I've got these set up, you can see I've got home and work there. All I need to do is categorize my tasks into these areas. So, for instance, I've got this mow yard. Well, that would be a home thing. So I'm just going to drag it down and lay it in there. You see it's now out of the inbox, and now it shows under this area of responsibility. When I come to work, okay, I might come up here today. I've got this is home as well, so I'm just going to put this as home. And you notice it gives the home label there. See how that works? I'm going to say home again. You can see that's got the home label, and it puts it right on there. If I come to home, you can see I've got a couple of those. I put mow the yard in twice because I showed it as a repeating task. I've got a repeating task and one that's coming up. Now the other thing I can do is I've got this project uh, called write book, right, th that I've got in here. And so I can put this project in the work area. And so now it's going to be categorized as something that's in my work area of influence. So when I come to work, you can see there's my project sitting right there. So it just is a nice way for me to take all of the different tasks I've got. Now I can view them by my areas of responsibility and get a quick look. Uh, when I'm at work, for instance, I can filter the list down just to do work stuff. When I'm at home, I can filter the list down to see the things that I need to do for work. So that gives you an idea of how those things lay out. Now I can come in here and rename anything. I can delete an area. I can sort areas. I can also click on manage areas of responsibility. And what that does is gives me a drop down here that shows me all these areas of responsibility where I can change the title or add some tags to it. And I can even suspend it to hide uh, different areas of responsibility. Maybe I want to bring them up later instead of work on them now. Let me go ahead and cancel. So again, it gives you a lot of different things that you can work on uh, to make uh, things kind of do what you want it to do, and it's very simple. Uh, once I've completed a task, I'm just going to go ahead and check this one off. And uh, once I do that and let it go, it takes a little bit, and it will show up for me actually in the logbook. Let me go ahead and say take out trash and log completed. And once I hit log completed, I go to the logbook, and you can see now all of the different things I've completed are in here so I can come back and see them. And then of course it has its own trash can in here as well. If I trash something I can bring it back out so that I don't lose it. One more thing I want to show you is just the tags panel. Uh, if I hit tags I get a tags panel here that I can use to manage all of the tags that I've got. I can uh, create a sub tag under here and uh, call it something. I can add a whole new tag or I can actually delete a tag as well and organize tags however I want. Let me just go ahead and close that. So that gives you a quick overview of things. Again, it's one of my favorite um, task management applications. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another screencast to show you how I use it in a regular workflow so you get an idea of the practical side of using things on a daily basis. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.